What's up, super gang, man? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. And I just want to tell y'all like I do every video, because it's only right. I appreciate y'all's support, man. And then, uh, yeah, we just gonna go and get into the video. But, uh, so, just want to give y'all a quick little update on the SS, man. Um, I ain't been posting. Uh, I stopped posting again, because it seems like every time I get back into the swinging thing, something happened, man. But I'm gonna have to just start learning how to work through stuff man you know but as you can see yours truly right behind me man sitting there in the driveway looking filthy as i don't know what i mean filthy look at that that's terrible that's that's, that's straight filthy man anyway some, some front end work i need stress all the way around uh that torque steer is something nasty on here man i don't i don't know what's up with it man so uh i gotta get the torque steer popping i mean i gotta get the torque steer stuff well not the torque steer but the whole like i said the, the suspension i just had the cv axles did on it uh what about a year ago if that and i don't i don't think that's the problem but i think i, I got a little body roll a little a little bit too so I'm, uh, i know i know this side over here the driver's side needs a, a hub bearing which i got over there in the box up top over there uh the wire for the uh hub bit for the wheel bearing came off um it had snapped off the hub bearing so i got the hub bearing i ain't never put it on because it wasn't really affecting nothing it just had the had the lights and stuff on but i'm getting sick of looking at them lights um like i said she here she's sitting dirty we need to get a wash so i can get all this salt off because it's literally been sitting on there for like a week and that is not me if y'all know how i am and how i like to keep my stuff clean man that is that is not me i literally just haven't having i literally just haven't had the time to pull it out to wash it and then on top of that it just keeps snowing back to back back to back so by the time and i don't want to stand outside and freeze and wash this thing man you know what i'm saying so I don't know. It, it, it's a mix of laziness, and then it's a mix of I don't have the time to actually do it, and then it's just the simple fact that it's just been snowing back to back, like heavy. And then I, with everything that's going on, like I, I, I don't get no traction. Like this car in the, right now is as in the condition is in, far as the suspension wise in the front is literally worse. It's literally worse than my truck when it comes to the snow, like. And, and my truck is two-wheel drive. You know what I'm saying? It's not a four-wheel drive truck. It's two-wheel drive, and it sucked. But anyway, man, I ain't gonna keep talking y'all to death. I'm just gonna get into it and show y'all what we got going on. So as you can see, you know, I got all that stuff off because I seen some stuff I want to order for my doors and stuff, man. So I think, well, I'm gonna just leave all this stuff off and because, uh, you know, I got to get all that stuff painted, but I got something I want to do with my speakers and stuff over here in this door. So hopefully... I fingers crossed I can get that stuff taken care of, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, uh, besides all the car stuff, I still got to worry about other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like my business and all that. So, but anyway, um, long story short, I seen a company that makes uh, custom speaker pods for your car and stuff like that. So I'm going to give me some custom speaker pods made. And, and uh, me and my boy was talking. He uh supposed to be painting my stuff. I literally just have to find time to go buy it and have everything and have them painted and stuff because... I, I, I want to stick around and see the process of how he do it, but with my schedule and, you know what I'm saying, and whatnot, I just, I really don't have time, so I, I really want to stick around, because uh, we have, we had uh, talked about some uh, some options and whatnot, and he's just pretty much, he gonna paint, paint my stuff for me, we had, uh, we had did some stuff, pretty much, he, I did him a favor and he doing me a favor, you know what I'm saying, so I ain't gotta really worry about paying nobody, I told him I was gonna throw him some money to paint my trim and all that stuff, but, he said, don't worry about it. But, you know what I'm saying? Push comes to say he want money, I'll give him the money. It ain't really no problem to me as far as that. But as you can see, I started on the headliner a little bit. And we got one problem. It's a boat right there. I know it's a little dark. It's a boat right there. 
Well, it's not even a boat. It's a Phillips screw. It's stripped, man. I can't get it out for nothing, man. I tried everything. So I went and bought a screw extractor set that I'm going to try to see if I can get that out with. It's around here somewhere. I think it's over there on the table somewhere. I don't know. But in the meantime, between time, man, I ain't going to keep talking y'all to death. Let's see if we can do it from the inside. Nah, it's too cold. It might be time for a battery, man. I literally been working on this headliner for, I think, what, two days now? And, well, I, well yeah, I'm gonna say two days, but between, like, I say probably about four hours just overall, but it took me a two-day span to get to where I'm at now, man. And you gotta pardon me. I'm a little excited right now. But, anyway, so this is what I was talking about when I said that the, uh, I couldn't get this, the sun visor clip down because the, the Phillips was stripped. You see what I had to do. I am not happy about this whatsoever, but I had to make a small sacrifice because, you know what I'm saying? I, I just, I, 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 I'm, I, it's, it, I, I'm lost for words, bro. It's to me, when I do stuff, man, you know what I'm saying? I got my mindset on doing it. I got to go all in sometimes, man. You know what I mean? So uh, what I had to do pretty much was I had to take an angle grinder and cut that screw out. I had bought a, a screw extractor set from Menards, but that, it wasn't hitting on nothing, man. So as you can see, I had to take the angle grinder and, and make a small sacrifice, man. So that's what I did. I cut that, cut that, that Phillips up. And then I stuck a, uh, a, um, I just turned the Phillips into a flathead screw pretty much, man. So, uh, and I backed it out with the drill and it, and it came right on out, man. And, and it's amazing. <laughs> It's amazing to me how something like this can can throw such a wrench in the game, but I didn't cut my headliner. As you can see, that side came out with no problem whatsoever. And then I got this one out now, but so that side came out with no problem. And then this the one that gave me problems right here. And I have no clue why this even gave me problems. That's the crazy part. But you know, sometimes a, a one hour, two hour job can turn into to four or five hour jobs. I mean. It just depends on, on your patience, man. I didn't want to break nothing, so I kept taking pauses and stuff, because when you get frustrated, that's some of the stuff you do. But uh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to just go to the junkyard and get a new one of these, man. I seen when I, because uh, originally I was going to pull an Impala headliner down from the junkyard, which I'm glad I didn't do, because that, that would have been some bull. <laughs> that definitely would have been some bull. But as you can see, I got it out. But, um. You know, but like I said, man, I originally was gonna pull an Apollo headliner down from the junkyard and wrap it in red suede. And, uh, but I'm too impatient, man. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta, I, I, I'm gonna just do it like this, man. You know what I'm saying? Worst coming to worst, I'll probably do it again. I don't know. I don't, I, I probably, I doubt it. I take that back. I doubt it. You know, I probably, it'd be a different vehicle if I do something like that. But I'm just going ahead and get this process started. I gotta wait till my girl get off because she got the jumper cables in her car. She at work. So, um, I'm gonna try to jump the car or maybe the car warm enough to start now. I don't know, but that battery probably, it's probably time for a new battery cause it's just been sitting there. So we're gonna see what's up with it, man. So I'm gonna cut y'all back on when I get some more progress going. I might have to climb, climb all through this mug, but we're gonna see what's happening with it. All right, gang. So this is my progress so far. As you can see, I got them off. I still gotta do the whole right side, but I'm pretty much done with the with the driver's side down there. And then I got to take this uh, rubber surround off around the sunroof. Got these, got the handles out, got the seat belts out and everything. And then, uh, uh, don't talk about me, man. Uh, my music shook this loose somehow. And then I ain't do that right there. So I don't know that previous owner of the car did that, I guess, but, uh, man, this carpet is, is ridiculous, man. I already shampooed it before, but I'm ready to, 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 to do something about that. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but, um, as you can see, got this piece out as well. Now my only problem is I'm facing a, I'm facing a problem getting these out. So I'm, I'm now I'm trying to figure out how to get these out. I got some pry tools and stuff and whatnot. As you can see, the little indents in the sunroof a little bit. I mean, in the uh, headliner a little bit. But I'm gonna try to figure out how to get these out. I had some pry tools trying to pull them, but they ain't budging for some reason, man. The mugs is a hassle. And I was looking up online this boat right here. It said it was a T47. But I mean, it said, yeah, it said it was a T47, but I ain't have a T47. It worked with it for a T45, the seatbelt um, thing. So I took it down and put it back up and everything after I got that panel off. But hey, man, if you're thinking about doing it, 
it's really not hard. Like, it's just time consuming, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, everything's coming right off fairly easy, you know what I mean? So, um, but, well, yeah, I'm finna uh, get back on it, man. Put my music back on, I cut y'all back on. Six and a half hours late. All right, Super Gang, man. So, it's been a long day. It done got dark on me and everything, man. But, finally, after many bolts and screws and more headaches and, and everything else, man, got the headliner down so this is what it's looking like as you can see i got the headliner down now man and i'm gonna tell you something if y'all think about doing this project you better have a lot of patience and uh a lot of a lot of tools because <laughs> man you want to talk about somebody who is annoyed i am annoyed man the car i didn't clean the car up and then it got back dirty i mean ridiculous but here's the hairliner. Um, you gotta bend it and crease it just to get it out, man. Uh, I, I didn't, you gotta bend it and crease it to get it out. I am not happy with, look, these right here were so stubborn, man. These was ridiculous. You pretty much just gotta pull and wiggle these as hard as you possibly can to get them out. You gotta rock them out like a baby. But as you can see, man, I got everything out. I am currently in the process of cleaning up. Don't kill me, but I plan on, I don't even believe in, in, in laying stuff on my paint, man, but I, I, I've been so irritated, man. I just said I didn't care. I just wanted it done. I just wanted it out, but I got the headliner down. Tomorrow, I'm going to start working on putting the holes and everything in, man, but I'm, 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 I'm glad I got this part did, man. That's all I know. So, as you can see, like I said, headliner down. It's a complete shell. I got to fix that, uh, the Sirius XM radio clip right there, right in the middle. Right there, I don't know if you can see it, but it is right there. Right there, right there. See, right there. <laughs> um, that clip rattled with my music instead, and and take care of that, man. Don't talk about me. You know, you gotta have a flashlight on out here. You know what I'm saying? Gotta have a flashlight on. Uh, nah, I'm just lying. But I'm done, man, for the day. So I'm gonna cut y'all on for the rest of the video when I get everything else did. So peace out. All right, gang, so it's been a couple days. I just been working on it, you know. Just trying to get somewhere with it. I put a uh, fiber optics all underneath up in there, just like this right here. Uh, I'm about to put that tape back on here in a minute. Um, I bought a kit for 430, but I literally don't got no more el nowhere else to put uh, fiber optics. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I just taped them off like that and just round them up. Uh, and I'm gonna finesse this part right here so I can lay it down flat a little bit and then clean it up over there a little bit. And then uh, I'm gonna take it out to the car and put it back in. But it's been a long, tedious process, man. And I'll tell you one thing, I won't be doing it again. <laughs> but it's all good though, so. But yeah, gang, this 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 my final, my final uh, stage of it. This right here, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more though to make it look a little bit more presentable even though ain't nobody gonna see it. Um, but. I ran out of, like I said, I ran out of places, so I just, uh, I just went ahead and, um, just taped them off a little bit, because I didn't want to cut them, you know what I'm saying, just in case some of them pull back, I might get bored one day and decide to pull a headliner down, well, no, nah, no, nah, I'll take that back, I'm lying, I ain't gonna do that, but, yeah, gang, that's it, so, that's the part, that's this right here, so the next step is gonna be me cutting it and putting it inside the, the car. Well, I'm gonna put it inside the car and then I'm gonna cut it, but it's it, gang. All right, gang, so I'm outside, back in the garage, man. Oh, I'm ready to be done with this. Oh, uh, yeah, gang, so, you know what I'm saying? I got everything did, situated and whatnot, so I'm getting ready to put the, put the headliner inside the car now. So I'm gonna try to figure out my point of attack to get it put in, as you can see what we working with so like i said again so i'm gonna go ahead and try to knock this out man i'm gonna cut y'all back on so hopefully i get it in within like under the hour all right super gang so got the headliner in man as you can see everything's in i just gotta trim and cut everything and then everything gonna gonna look good together man from the looks of it man so that's pretty much where i'm at with it i had a little mishap up there in the front but it is what it is, man. Everything look good. I'm more more concerned about the back part, but hey, everything look good for the most part. I know it's a little dark, but I cut all the lights off just so y'all can see what's going on with it so far. Look at that, gang. 
Tell me that ain't fire, gang. Ooh, wee. Wait till that white hit off the SS on the seat, though. Hold on. Where that, where that white gonna come in at? We're gonna see if that white come in. Oh, you can't even see it right now, but it's, it's dark as hell, man. But this look beautiful. I did it all the way around. All the way around. As y'all can see. So, that's them the lights, man. The camera don't do it justice, man. The cameras definitely don't do it justice, but as y'all can see, I'm the lights though, so. I have fun with this project somewhat, man. It just was really time consuming, man. Like I said, man, I had fun with the project and I'm glad it's over with. I'm tired, I'm cold, and I just, I, I definitely wanna give uh, a couple people the shout out, man. Uh, I wanna say shout out to that boy, Reckless Flea. He was helping me, uh, you know what I'm saying? I was messaging him and whatnot because he had put one in his SS. He really the reason why it inspired me. Between him and Josh Laurent, I'm like, man, I got to have me some stars in the roof, man. So, hey, I, like I said, man, shout out to Reckless Flea. He was, uh, he was helping me as far as uh, wiring, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what, what stuff went where, you know what I mean? Because, like, I knew somewhat, but I just pretty much wanted to double check and be sure. So, like I said, man, shout out to him. And he also is a YouTuber as well. And he also got a nice SS, man. He got a real nice LS4. So I'm going to put his link down in the description. And I'm also going to put it right here at the bottom of the screen so y'all can see that. So make sure y'all go check him out, man. Subscribe to the channel for him. And uh, like I said, man, y'all, like I said, man, shout out to him. Thank you, bro. If you're watching the video, I appreciate you, man. I, I told you that when we was DMing each other, but I'm going to tell you on the video, too. I, I, man of my word, I said I was going to shout you out and whatnot, man. So I definitely want to tell you thank you. I appreciate you. But uh, let me see. Who else? Who else? Who else supposed to be shouting out? I can't remember, man. You know what I'm saying? But anybody who helped me with the project, man, as far as information-wise, you know what I mean? And shout out to my girl. She helped me finagle this damn headliner out this car and put it back in, man. And it was tough, man. It was tough. Definitely tough. So, like I said, man, shout out to y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, shout out to my subscribers. I appreciate y'all as well. And uh, if you're new to the channel, man, I tell I tell it all. I, I say it every video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. And I just want to tell y'all, thank y'all for y'all support. Thank y'all for everything, man. We almost at 1,000 subscribers, man. And I just want to tell y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. And, you know, I can't say that enough. But... Without further ado, man, y'all know how I do this every video on the way out of the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll say it again. But in the meantime, between time, that's going to do it for this one, y'all. Peace. When it's cold outside, who are you holding? Oh, no, I like I want to dedicate this song to all the lovers tonight.